Hello, it's me, Wheatley, and welcome to my new show, Wheatley's Primeval Pets. Today we will be looking at Misa Fiele, an adorable little arachnid pet. A Misa Fiele is a favourite among arachnid fans, and they're, they're, they're pretty easy to look after. And I looked after like 10,000 humans, and I mean, sure, most of them died, but at least I'm an expert, because humans are really hard to care for, but not these guys. Now, after you've bought your beautiful little Mesophile, the first thing you need to do is pump oxygen into their cage. They're used to a much, much, much higher level in oxygen than we are. So, yes. Now, it is very important that you only put oxygen and not neurotoxin or CO2 or anything. No, just good old-fashioned oxygen. Wait a minute. <coughs> okay, I regret to inform you that the first spider died, but I got another one. Perfect, now the show can continue. The next most important thing you need to worry about, about caring for your mesophile, is food. Now, they'll eat anything that's as big or bigger than themselves. Um... I've heard some people like to feed them cats, but that's disgusting. Who who wants fur going down your um? Ugh. Anyway, I decided we'll get some lizards. Okay, so I got this little funny brown lizard I found in the garden and put him in there, and now the Mesophile is feasting on it. Now, you got to be absolutely positive. You know what lizard it is, so that it's not poisonous. Otherwise, you're I think I forgot something. <coughs> oh well. Third time lucky. Right, so now we know you should always check the label on the oxygen and you should only buy spider pet food. Otherwise, um, you'll have a pretty sad ending to your pet career. Yeah, but not me. I shall continue. Now, you must be able to know how to handle your pet. I mean, you might want to you might want to pat a little mesophile. They they're actually quite nice and cuddly. It's not too hard to get it out. You just scoop it up underneath, grab its abdomen and roll. Aha! Now, don't let your pet go wandering off without you or else it might end up in a situation in which it gets squashed and that is quite sad. Now, let's learn how to pat them properly. Uh oh. Now, where has he buggered off to? Huh? Oh. Okay, well, we got food, we got oxygen, I locked all the doors. Right. We can get to the next part of handling your pet. First of all, you've got to get nice and low to the ground so a mesophile is not afraid of you. Oh, and you've got to be careful because despite their timid nature, these spiders happen to be poisonous. <laughs> mm. As you can see, she's now bending down towards me, which means that she trusts me. Ah! Ah! Get this hideous thing off me! Ah! Ah! Okay, well, there's just one final thing you need to do. If you have any other large household pets, like the giant cats, you got to be careful. They have been known to eat mesophiles. So if you have a cat... So basically, just, just don't let your pets interact. If, if you've got like a gang of bigger pets, you should always... Make sure that the door is locked so that they can't interact with it. Thank you for watching another episode of Wheatley's Primeval Pets. Join us next time when we look at the ownership of a pet Bronto Scorpio. Thank you.